am going to show you how to make a start screen with um, classes, functions, and it's going to be a more object oriented style of programming. Okay. In the long run, if you learn object oriented programming, it makes your code more neat and organized. First, it's really confusing. But anywho, let's get started. So we gotta import everything first. So import Pygame, import system. Just define our colors. Try to comment this out as I'm going. We're just gonna use black and white for the colors in this one because we're going to blend an image and then the text is going to be white color text okay now we need some constants specifically for the screen Okay, so those are going to be the screen width and height that is going to be is going to be able to be called by the whole program. So first, let's define the main function. Um, this is going to be where the game starts and where is going to branch off into other classes. And every tab is four spaces, and it's easier when you're programming in Python, uh, excuse me, Python to space everything instead of tabbing, because you'll get the dumb um, indentation errors that throw, that throw off your whole program, and then you have to back up all the way anyways and space it out. So. So we're uh, initializing Python. Um, global menu BG is going to be the menu image. Uh, I went ahead and declared it as global so it can be called by the function that's going to be in our other class. I'm going to define menu BG in a second here. So set. And this is where I get the variables that were already called Yahoo. And you can set a caption for your window to whatever. It could be new game, it could be potato. I mean seriously like whatever you want to set it to. First, we gotta define the class. So, we're gonna name our control class control, we know. And then we're gonna call from control the start screen first. And then this is where later on you would call a different function that, hap that handles events and, and whatnot. At, just like right after the start screen one. For now, I game it quit system exit, and then we can loop this. This is important because this makes your program be in a loop. It calls your main function. It loops the main function. It's the easiest way to describe it. Okay, now up here, now that we got our main part literally coded, 
you can do the class. That's going to be an object. Fine. Initialize some variables. So the screen, we're going to define that as display git service. And then itself, screen rec. Every sprite and image needs a rect. Or else you get the error. This sprite has no rect. So self clock equals pi game dot time dot clock. This is going to be for FPS. Frames per second. So this is we're gonna have font that draws onto the menu. When we click, it's gonna disappear and start the game. So pi font font. We'll just say none for now. But to forewarn you, if you try to turn your Python scripts into an executable with like pi2xe you're gonna need a ttf file and that is a true a true font true wait true type font file so yeah anywho you're gonna need one of those or else you get error okay So now I'm on to the start screen, as you can tell. Screen W. And once again, I'm calling the parameters of uh, <clears throat> the window. So screen. And I just, I'm going to redefine screen because it's going to be. It's pretty much going to be a whole separate. The menu is going to be the same size, so you really can't tell that it's a it's a, its own almost its own program within itself. But the self screen and self screen will be called by a different part of the program. The self dot screen. So if when I'm not I'm not using self dot screen because I'm just going to call within the scope of this function. That makes sense. Even though I probably could call with self, I'm just gonna leave it within here because this is only gonna get ran one time. I mean, later on, if I want to make it more complicated, I might switch it. I mean, you can. Try doing self test screen if you want for your program. So here is my constants for this. Pretty much done equals false because we're not done. So we click display start screen true. It's a with with the text, and I put start screen to one. So when you click, it goes. It's kind of like a a PowerPoint slide, if you click, it'll go to the next one, which will be blank, and then it'll go to the game. Mm, so, screen, and loop. So, when game goes false, and display start screen for event, and pi game event. It's, and this is where it gets your when you click on the Xbox on the Xbox. <laughs> if when you try to close out the window, it'll actually close out if you have this. And this will be like an almost any Pi game game coded. So done will be true, and then it'll close. Bada bing, bada boom.
Now this one is going to be for the mouse click. Mouse button down. Start screen plus well equals one. Okay, so that switches the slide. Display start screen equals two. So display the start screen equals false. Okay, now we're gonna draw stuff. Draw image and text. Okay, so it doesn't fall under the four loop. We push it back. No. Let's get the screen's gonna fill black and then draw the image. Screen blit menu VG zero zero, which is the center of the screen. Close bracket. Start screen one text equals self dot font render click to start all caps because it's important. And then we pull the color white from the top. This is where we draw text. And this is how many times the screen refreshes. 20 frames a second. Again. See, I did use self. Self clock, self clock tick here. So, okay, let's see. It's pretty much it. I'll, grow, I'll comment this out a little bit more so you guys get an idea of what's going on. So, initializing. For use in other functions. See, like the only I, did, I think I use self font too. Yeah, self font, self clock. I use it in this function. I could probably actually get rid of these two because I'm not using them. And that function, but I will be later on in other tutorials. So, okay, so I got the event loop, constants for within the scope. Okay. And global variables. Be called in any function or class. I think it's pretty much it. And loops the game. Okay. So that'll do it. Let's see if it runs. Not errors. Oop, forgot a freaking colon. Okay. Uh oh. Ha ha. Yeah, I forgot to define the menu. I was even talking about it and I totally forgot. So 
So I'll do it right here. Menu BG equals pygame dot image load menu PNG. PNG. And whatever your image name is is going here, and whatever type of image you have would go here. Okay, so third time charm. Oh, 